Hello guys, it's Catalyst here and welcome to back to another mod spotlight. Now today we're going to be looking at the mod Resident Induction. Now this mod you may start to see um, in future mod packs quite a lot. It's a mod that will come in hand in hand in like ICBM, Mechanism and Universal Electricity. It's a very cool mod, got some very cool features. It's recently been through a massive um, development stage and there's loads and loads of stuff to show off. Now. Uh, I'm going to be splitting this into three different parts, possibly more, depending on how much I need to cover in each of the ages. Now, as I mentioned ages there, it is split into three different ages. I think we've got um, Archaic, uh, Mechanized, and Atomic, I believe. Maybe more. Uh, I think that's it, though. Right, so, um, as I said, we're going to be starting on the Archaic, uh, going up from there. it's uh, Some things overlap, so you may be seeing some things that are in the Mechanized that I'm showing off today, but um, bear with it, and hopefully I'll get to cover anything in the future videos. Right, so let's begin. Now the first thing you're going to want to have a look at is the engineering table. Now this is sort of your base for getting ores and stuff. Now the great thing about this is it allows you to triple ore capacity. Now I'll show you how that's possible in a second. So let's have a look at the recipe. Okay, now to build the engineering table, all you need is a pressure plate and a crafting table. And you will also need a hammer. Now that's built with three cobblestone and two sticks like so. So we're going to grab the hammer and we're going to grab some osmium ore. Now as you can see there's a mechanism ore, but it still works. And um, let's have a look. So basically you right click to put it in the table. Now you'll see a 3D version of this. Now uh, a similar thing will work if you, um, yeah, if you put any recipe in. So if we have a look here, we will um, actually put the uh, hammer recipe in, so if we put it, oh, ah, that is the one thing, you need to have them separated or else it puts the entire stack in, because it's also made for like kind of mass producing them, so let's have a look there, and, and there, okay, I just think that it has a bit more like interactivity into it. it, I kind of like the way it does that, it makes it 3D and a bit more interactive, right, okay, so let's put the ore in, now what you're going to want to do is put the ore in and then start hammering away at it, to do that you just hold right click and it will start hammering, and as you can see I've hammered that down, it makes a cool little noise and um, we've got osmium rubble, now we move on to the next process, okay, so if you have a look here we've got a millstone, so let's go have a look how we make that. Okay, so to make it, you just need a stone round the edge like that, a piston in the top middle, and a pick in the middle, right? And that'll make your millstone. You're also going to need a hand crank. Uh, you make that with sticks in the pattern uh, as shown there. Right, so let's grab that hand crank out. I put some um, osmium dust and osmium rubble just in case um, we need any more, but I think we're just gonna stick with the one just to show you guys how much you can actually triple from one ore, right? So let's have a look. So basically to do this, you just right click on the side. It will show you that you've got one osmium rubble in. And then you just hold right click again. And what that will do is it will be turning it. And then hopefully in a second, we should get some osmium dust. There we go. Now the next stage of this is to cleanse the dust or refine it. Um, basically how I've set this up is I've got a gutter, which is um, connected to a grate, which is draining water from here into here. Now I will show more about how to craft them in a second. Okay, so basically what you do, you kind of fit with the whole thing of holding right click, you just hold right click, and this should start refining your dust. It can take a while, uh, but oh, ah, that's the thing about placing it. You can actually place the dust, which we'll show later. That should have given me two for some reason. Did one of them disappear? I think one of them may have got lost. Let's just make, let's just show you that it does actually double it. Uh, there we go. So let's hold this down again. Okay. Oh, wait. Damn it. Right. So yes, uh, we should get to dust. Let's try that again. Uh, sometimes it can glitch out a little bit. And we keep washing it. Come on. And there we go. We've got two osmium refined dust. Okay, now the um, next level, this is a bit more complicated. Uh, we have a few recipes in here. Now what you're going to need is a firebox. Now um, this allows you to heat things above and it's quite cool the way that it's got loads of different features which I'll be showing in a second. So to make that you just put three and on the top, stone round there and a furnace in the middle. Now um, there's also an electric version of firebox which is where it starts to overlay between the two areas. I wasn't sure whether to put this in the next one or this video but I decided to put it in this one. Okay, so basically to make that, you put copper wire around the edge, uh, you put three steel ingots there, and a firebox in the middle, and that gives you an electric firebox. Um, and to make the copper wire, it's just three copper. Okay, so another little cool thing is a hot plate. Uh, this will allow you to cook food. Uh, so to make that, it's just three stone like so, and three iron underneath it. Right, we're going to actually take that uh, there, 
and we're going to go to this firebox here. Now, I've got a few things that we're going to need. We're going to need coal. I've already got a hot plate in there, and we're going to need some raw pork chops. So what you do is you place the hot plate on the top, and um, you right click with the coal, and that will start lighting it on fire. And then um, if you want to cook the pork chops, you put it like so, and you could say put four on. You can put stacks, and I'm just not putting them on as it'll take them a while to cook. And as you can see, it's got the cool animation of the little um, flames coming up. It's, it's very nice. I quite like it. And I like the way a lot of this takes away the needing to crap, put stuff in crafting tables as such. Now as you can see it's already cooked, uh, that's because I put one in, and you can cook four things at a time, and it's very, very efficient. Uh, right, so let's take that. And if we uh, destroy the hot plate, let's quickly break that. Uh, as you can see it'll just light fire on the top. So say you want a automatic something to set on fire, you're trying to put it out, it won't go out. So that's basically the hot plate and the normal firebox. Now, you could use a normal firebox for this. I just decided to show off that you can use an electric firebox. Now, back here we have a battery and some copper wires. I'll get into that the next video. Okay, so what we have along here is we have some gutters, we have a casting mold, and we have a grate. Now, if we have a look in here, this will show us how to craft it. So we have a uh, grate is four wooden planks in the middle and four iron bars like so. Um, here we have two sticks and cobblestone, and that'll make the gutter. And the casting mold is very, very easy. All you do is put the iron bar in the center of the crafting table, and that should give you your casting mold. Okay, now the next thing uh, we need to do is uh, to right-click the osmium dust on here. Now we have two refined dust, so that should melt down pretty quickly. So what you do is you actually uh, shift and right-click, and that places the dust. Now that'll be slowly melting, and hopefully the grate should take the liquid in and put it into the gutter. Now, it's quite a quick process, but as we'll see um, in a second, I said quite quick, it's going to take a while now. Come on, you can do it. Right, well, while we're waiting, really? This is taking, oh, there we go, there we go. It's just liquidized and it's gone through the gutter and it's made three osmium ingots. So that was from one, um, that's from one osmium ore. We got three ingots and you just right click like so to take it out now the way i'm putting the casting mold in i'm not sure how long it's going to take me to throw my fist actually this might take me a bit longer than i would have thought can i throw it with a hammer quite quick no anyway the um casting mold actually you know what i'm going to do i'm just going to pop into creative there we go okay now this is what the casting mold looks like from the top basically it's got an ingot to um and then liquid will pour in and solidify and cause it to create the ingots so it's quite a cool little process i like the way it's more hands-on than just putting stuff in a smeltery it smelts and i like the way you have to actually move the liquids around it. it's quite cool um so that's the general way of tripling ores so that's a big part of um, mechanism especially the archaic way now there are ways to mechanize it later so you can do it automatically um so you've got that to look forward to i'll show that in the future videos right so here we just have a few more things to show off um now these are crates now, if we have a look into here, it should show us how to craft them. So to craft the wooden crate, uh, it's just um, eight wooden plank, uh, well, oak woods, um, yeah, eight logs around a stick, like so. Uh, and then to make it an iron one, you just put iron around the wooden one. And to make it a steel one, you just put steel around the iron crate. So pretty simple overall. Okay, now, uh, basically, the wooden crate can store 2,048 items in there. Um, this The iron one can store 4,096 and that can cause, um, yeah, 16,384. So it keeps going up and up and up. Uh, so that's quite a cool little feature. I like those crates. I mean, I know there's a couple of other mods that add them, but it's still quite nice to have them. Right, so the next thing we're going to show you is the tank. Okay, so the tank is just like many other tanks. It's um, got a modular system, so you just build it together and it makes it into one big structure. Uh, they're fairly simple to build. It is um, eight glass around a piece of iron. Now, that's all that I'm going to be showing for this video. This is most of the archaic stuff covered. I think I've pretty much covered it all. Uh, the electric firebox and stuff, I think, is in the archaic uh, thing, but I decided to, yeah, in the archaic age, but I decided to put it in uh, with the battery and stuff, and I'll show how to build those later. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you found it useful, please remember to click that like button. Uh, I will be doing more of these videos, so stick around and click that subscribe button to watch some more. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.